Well, hello there, guys. <laughs> hey, X. Hey, Lion. Hey, Brown. Hello. How are you guys doing? <laughs> Not this guy again? Oh, God. What did he do to you? Brown, what did you do to Lion? <laughs> Good afternoon slash evening, guys. Um, welcome to my surprise stream. <laughs> what the hell is happening on Twitter? You know, I still don't understand Twitter. I'm not sure if I ever will. <laughs> Let me drink something. Your friend exterminator has just started watching. Well, welcome. I don't understand Twitter. It's like I get messages from people I don't follow and like thousands of different things and I don't get it. <laughs> I just don't get it. What's up? Um, not much really. Had a f day off today, so I thought, why not stream today? Spend most of my day writing on my book, and then... I thought it would be time for some uh, more landscaping now. Hey, Devros, how are you? Long time no see. Who is spamming me? Oh god, I have to be in church at 9.30 tomorrow. <laughs> you thought about streaming today? Why exterminate? <laughs> you never follow back, are you sure? Hi Ellie, how are you? <laughs> well, Brown follows back. <laughs> Thank you for the host exterminator. <laughs> you just sat there and stared at your scream and thought, uh, no streaming for me. <laughs> oh, you may have bought a car today? Nice. Um, well, I didn't buy a car today, but uh, I'm doing pretty pretty good. Um, where do I put my phone? Okay. My uh, dad got his... brought his car somewhere today to like... see how much it's worth. What's that called? It's, it's an old timer and he uh, let them like set a price for it. Appraised? Okay. And it got worth more so that's a good thing. Let's see. Where were we? Where, oh where were we? Mike, don't do that. Thank you. No, he's not exterminator. He's not. Okay, so I need to work on this path because I don't really like it. It's like... Why would you circle like that? 
When there is nothing to circle around. Oh, it hasn't been paid for? Oh, okay. <laughs> no, he's not selling it. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. I guess I'll have to buy my own car one day. <laughs> no, we're going to change the direction of this path. Okay, there's the castle. What about some water? <laughs> Sorry, lion. I thought... The hell? Okay. Well, never mind. Don't forget to save. Dude, I just started. Chill. Chill. So how were your days, guys? What did you do? Nothing, absolutely nothing. Wow! Sounds exciting. I had enough, that's about it. Damn! Such relaxed Saturday. Work and left early. Yeah, why did you leave early? No work? Nobody? You weren't feeling it? Okay. Was it the North Koreans again? <laughs> you volunteered as tribute. Okay, I see how it is. Hunger Games. Oh, Hunger Games.
Happy Saturday. Here, please, please stay out of my face. What is that? This pixel here. Why does it not want to be colored? Is it a piece of. Ah, I see. I see how it is. There we go. Terabithia? What the hell is that? Your gaming community? You have a gaming community? Sell out. <laughs> Temple gaming. Shit. In a solo gaming community? <laughs> Sounds fun. Can you please chill down, phone? Please. You're making noise. <laughs> what to do? What to do? Okay, so makes sense that it goes around the water. Right? Lion, you are being a sellout right now. You know that. <laughs> Look at that screaming. You have to join us. <laughs> so I am a total gaming noob. Um, I might have to change that for next year. <laughs> um, so what is like temple gaming?
Is it a type of games? It's for noobs and vets. Okay. <laughs> oh, I see. Now, the thing is, I don't really play a lot of games because I have too many hobbies already. Um, but I'll see. I play Cintiq, yeah. This is my uh, my best friend, Cintiq. I play with him a lot. You have several artists too. Look guys, I'm gonna show you Cintiq. Gonna show you my friend, my baby. Oh, come camera, you can do this. You can do this. Okay, look. There he is. This is my big friend. Let's see how I can get this. Oh my god. Oh. Okay. Okay. Yes. There we go. It's beautiful. It's like it was so worth the money. Look at all the cookie. Where do you see cookie crumbs? I cleaned my room last week. Oh, that's cool. But it's like a Discord? I think this is the wrong layer. It's this one, yeah. Oh, I see. Those are a lot of voice channels. <laughs> I'm greeted in one second. Help. <laughs> hey, Alex, how are you? Long time no see. Someone is typing to me, help. I'm getting scared. Oh no, Lion is typing too. <laughs> no, I am actually wearing a shirt, don't worry, look. <laughs> Okay, yeah, it kind of looks funny. I see what you mean. Is that better? Guys, I'm wearing a shirt. Don't. Just don't.
what sort of stream is this? It's a PG stream, don't worry. <laughs> we should be in, in real life, oh my god. Please, guys, please. I'm wearing a shirt, okay? Okay. <laughs> oh, damn it. Saving, I'm saving. Okay, okay, great, great! <laughs> I'm a streamer now? What does that mean? Wait. Wait! How did I get in there? What? Where did all those text channels come from? Did I get through the door? What? <laughs> what the hell is happening here? Okay, thanks, I guess. <laughs> oh my god. Still got 22, 22 though. GG. GG. I wasn't watching time. At all. too dark. <laughs> oh shit. That complaining. That complaining. I'm sorry. Sorry, I'll, I will speak uh, less loud next time. to read lips now. Shit.
<laughs> it's that I don't actually see you guys there. Stop. Damn it. Oh my god. There we go. Oh my god, there was a hair in my mouth. Sorry guys. Feels like you're at the dentist. <laughs> oh my god, it's... I find it so awkward to be at the dentist and that someone is like looking in my mouth and then... I have no idea where to look so I usually stare into the lamp above me and get blinded. <laughs> because it feels awkward to look at the dentist. Hi Alex, how are you? Say ah. <laughs> I hate it. What did I just say to Alex? Thank you for the host. How are you? I already he was already here. Did I say Oh my god. I I already forgot. memory I you know right I don't know what just happened but didn't didn't, didn't get through <laughs> broke angels yep totally broken that's what happens when I write all day and watch a TV series called mindfuck my mind is broken Go read my lips on the pod, okay. <laughs> you do that. I'll be here. Oh, did I say that? <sighs> Thanks for sobbing, Alex. Even though I don't have a sub button, thank you anyway. It was almost a host train, oh, but not quite.
just because stream <laughs> just because we can um it's more like a just because stream actually but uh, I used to work Saturdays and after a whole day of work I don't really feel like streaming anymore um but because I work mainly during the week now uh, they don't plan me on Saturday anymore because they have enough people on Saturdays apparently so um, I might do more Saturday streams in the future maybe Saturday afternoon or Saturday Saturday morning is a thing. I would like to stream in the morning, but you guys are sleeping. Um, so I could do afternoon or evening. And I'll keep this Sunday. Though the Sunday stream will probably become a little shorter in the end. Because um, they plan me a lot on Mondays now too. And, for example, coming Monday, I have to work from 8 till 6, so tomorrow I'm not gonna stream until late. <laughs> and then, there's the Wednesday dual stream. And Saturday. If I don't have to work on Saturday, I can stream. Going to be rich? Well, I don't think so. But I work like... 25 to 30 hours a week now. You work 60, oh god. Well... At least I get to do some work now and save money. <laughs> but the thing is that I don't really like the job. But I have nothing else I can do because I didn't finish a study yet. I don't think I could work 60 hours a week though, yeah. So much. <laughs> what? Why are you not- why are you not saying what- oh my god. I'll read it myself! I'll read it myself! Don't forget to set up a new donation slash giveaway goal. Don't forget to save your work. <laughs> Thank you, Pirate Angels, for the reminder. Hi, George, how are you? Oh yeah, I'm sure 60 hours gets, gets you some good money. Depends on what you do, though, too, I think. But like, what is money without having time for fun? <laughs> I am like... I don't think I could do 60 hours a week, I would probably die. At least at the job I'm doing now, I would die completely. <laughs> My body couldn't do that. 
so, so long, so many hours, and my mind would just fry. That's what happens when you're a cashier. You get brain fried, or brainwashed, or both. No money, no tacos. <laughs> oh god. It would be a nightmare for exterminator. No tacos. tomorrow I have to like I have sit to sing in church but that's not the only thing um they have this before Easter the Sunday before Easter I don't know what you call that day but it's the day that um, Jesus sat on a donkey walking through a street and people were like waving with palm leaves palm branches, whatever you call them. I think it's called Palm Easter here. And what they do in this church where my choir is, is Palm Sunday, you call it? Okay. So there are a bunch of kids in the church and they are going to make Palm Sunday sticks. And it's pretty much a cross and on the top of it they put a rooster made of bread and then they hang peanuts on the like the horizontal stick and I think an orange in the middle and they they put a like the hard candy stick very sweet and sugary but you can all also kind of hang in the christmas tree that kind of stuff put it on there and some little eggs easter eggs and then they decorate it with green and red paper and they take it into the church and walk through the church with the stick and we we as a choir have to help help the kids make those sticks and I hate that it's like freaking stupidest thing I do in my ear <laughs> I'm just kidding I, I just I just don't like doing it but I have to do it it's like when I have to help for the Christmas musical with the kids too I hate it I hate it but it, they expect me to do it and then when the kids are walking through the church we sing a song on the balcony and we sing that like 10,000 times. And that's it. That's what I have to do tomorrow morning. And then on Friday, we have a little play 
on Good Friday. Where I have a role called Slave 2. And I have to sing like two lines of solo. Yeah. Very uh, exciting about it. <laughs> We've been doing the same play for like. I think I've done it like five times. So I know all the lyrics of all the songs by, by heart. But it's pretty cool. It's kind of. It's like the passion. It's fun, but I have to miss my horse riding lessons two times in a row because of this. And I, my horse riding lessons are kind of my favorite part of the week and I don't like canceling it. <laughs> and I had to cancel it two weeks in a row. Fuck my life. Anyway, enough of that. Hope you enjoyed my uh, sad story. Hey, Laura, how are you? Is it Laura or Laura? It's Laura, okay. Then I'll stick to Laura. Hasn't it been blue for a while now? Same color as my overlay? Oh, it's like invisible. <laughs> a fake mod, Laura. Laura. Oh my god. Laura. It's actually pronounced as Laura in Dutch. Hey, Poison! How are you? 
Exterminator mods everywhere, yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Every channel I watch, he kind of mods, I think. No, you mod Lara and Warmix and me and Pathetic <laughs> wherever he went. You're doing good? Good. I'm doing good too. Thank you. to do um mixer brush oh there we go thank you for mixing this shit gotta love you brush pro felter not yet what not yet if you're not a pro, who is then? George is the best mod. Is he? Who's George? <laughs> um, that's a mystery. I think George changed his name, his Twitch name. Do you want me to call you Jackie or George? Wanna go back to normal brush please? Thank you. Jackie George, okay. Someone spilled the beans? <laughs> Jackie George, okay. Okay. From now on, your name will be Jackie George. The first. You can live in this little castle on this hill now. Just Jackie? Okay. Fine. I'll call you Jackie then. And you don't get the castle. Remind you of the Hobbit? Yeah, I heard. Uh, I think Lara said uh, that it looked like a Lord of the Rings scene. <laughs> Thank you, Laura. Surprise! Just great. Hi, just great. How are you? Mod wall. <laughs> Oh my god, guys. Um, don't hate me, please, but I haven't seen The Hobbit yet. Any of them. Um, I still have to finish the last movie of Lord of the Rings. But I don't really know where. <laughs> and... Don't hate me, please! <laughs> oh my god, I'm sorry. 
I'm leaving. Bye. Bye. streaming and watch it <laughs> I I am sorry but I oh when I I think in the last year of high school I was watching the Lord of the Rings movies well the first two but I got in my exams and didn't have time to watch the third one and after that I was writing an RPG 24-7 and I forgot okay I forgot and I still have to watch it and I wanted to watch it first before watching The Hobbit but then all the Hobbit movies came out slowly and now I have to catch up on it <laughs> but I, I really love it it's awesome Pokeball at me oh my god you can't catch me. I'm free. Um, I can't really get used to the fact though that Martin Freeman is playing The Hobbit and I am used to see him in Sherlock as John Watson. It's kind of awkward. <laughs> it's like, no! No, he's supposed to be John! Not this hobbit guy! <laughs> oh, I have watched Finding Nemo when I was a kid when it came out. I've also watched Finding Dory in the cinema <laughs> last year, I think, yeah. There was this other movie about fish. And I think there was something with the car wash song in it. But I forgot the name. Oh, Shark Tale. Shark Tale. I saw that like twice in the cinema because everybody thought it was cool to go there with their birthday party back then. No, I didn't think Finding Dory is as good, no. Shark Tale, yeah, it was like that fish that like at the car. Went, oh god, guys, you know it! <laughs> Great! <laughs> like that fish that was like slaying a shark, but he never really did it. <laughs> at the car wash. And they were like washing a whale or something. <laughs> I remembered. Okay, my mic is still okay. Um, what other movie I didn't see? Oh, I didn't see Twilight. Any of the movies. Oh, what? Wait, wait, that's not true. I saw a part of one of the movies that was absolutely not the first. But there was a sparkling vampire in it and... No, just no. I hated it. No spoilers. <laughs> I did watch all the Narnia movies. I I used to be a huge fan of Narnia. I also read all the books. Um, it's also where I got a lot of inspiration for from for my uh, books and stories.
mainly my old story though. Team Edward. <laughs> Sparkly fa I am not a big fan of vampires in general, to be honest. I do like... I do like magicians, magic in general. I like mythic creatures and angels, demons, but no vampires. Werewolves are also not my thing, so Twilight is not my thing. <laughs> I didn't really like the series called The Magicians. Well, it's not really finished yet, but it was something different. It's like magicians, but it doesn't always have a good ending. <laughs> Rip. But it's funny because The Magicians the series, I think it was based on a on books. I'm on black, how are you? And the books are like, you can obviously see that there is Narnia in there. And Harry Potter is in there. And also Lord of the Rings. It's like inspired on all of those three. And But this writer is like, kind of mocking with it. And he is like making it all darker <laughs> and it's really it's it's still fun to see though but yeah it's it doesn't always have a good ending and I enjoyed Game of Thrones um a few years ago I have seen all the Harry Potter movies because someone made me because I hadn't haven't I didn't see any of them before that. My immortal, not the song. Don't say that to an Evanescence fan. Okay, no, just kidding. Um, no, I haven't heard of that. What is it about? Hi, HBX. How are you? Oh my god, there are so many people here today! Are you guys all Saturday people? Go away, okay. <gasps> Laura, how can you? <laughs> oh god. You're British. I, I have to say, like, I wasn't allowed to watch um, those movies as a kid. So I never really got to watch them and later I didn't really feel like I was missing anything. But this friend was like a huge fan and she, she just made me watch it. She was like, you're going to sit on that couch now and we are going to watch Harry Potter and you are going to sit and watch, okay? So... That happened. We watched two movies together, then I went back home, and I watched the rest of them <laughs> the next few days. Lord of the Rings I find really good too, yeah. Still have to see the last one though. But when I was watching Harry Potter, it was... Let's see one or two years ago that I watched all of it um, 
I understood why my mom never wanted me to watch that as a kid. I kind of understood that. Like the first few movies were childish, but the later movies were kind of scary. Like for kids, I mean. Oh, I watched Pirates of, uh, of the Caribbean too, but later, and I'm not sure if I watched all of the movies. I did watch all of Resident Evil, except for the last movie that just came out. Of course, I watched The Hunger Games, all of them. I also read all, all the books. <laughs> true HPX, true. Um, she didn't want me to see anything with magic and like darkness, witch stuff. Um, she didn't want me to watch that, so I couldn't watch like Wings Club. Uh, she didn't want me to watch Totally Spies. And in the end, my aunt convinced her that there was nothing wrong with Totally Spies, so I could watch it. And what else? Oh, Witch, that series, I really liked that. Um, there are like a lot of series, also Avatar, Avatar The Last Airbender, that kind of stuff. I wasn't allowed to watch it, but I love those stuff. I love that stuff, and I watched it when I was like in the first class of high school. I watched all of it, just because I felt like I had to catch up. <laughs> I don't think I knew Sabrina, the teenage witch. I didn't play the Resident Evil games, but I saw the movies. So, yeah. And now I am pretty much doing everything my mom never wanted me to see. I write a fantasy story about magic and all. I paint scenes from the story with magic and dark stuff sometimes. And she hates it. She, kind of, she doesn't like the subjects of my art. But I love it, I just love it, I can't help it. Buffy the Vampire Slayer, oh god. <laughs> yeah. I know. Being the rebel and all. Yeah. I don't... Okay, see, it was kind of rebel. Yeah, I, I admit. <laughs> I wanted to say she isn't, but she is. She really is. Um. But yeah. I just like the subject. But even as a kid, when I was six years old, I made up a character, Charlie, and she is still in my story now. And I used to play her as, as a kid, together with a friend. But I never told my mom about that because she would, like, hate on me <laughs> for it.
thank you, poison. Yeah, that's why I put epic music on. I thought that it would fit this painting. I don't know. And back then... Back then I really hated it that I couldn't watch it because... You get this thing that... All the other kids watch it, right? And they are playing that on, on school. They are like... Uh, playing the roles of the characters from the series and all and I couldn't really join because I never knew what it was about and Sometimes I watched it secretly in the mornings when my parents were still sleeping I went downstairs Put on the turn on the TV and watched it anyway and when they would go down I would like quickly switch uh, channel Parents coming up shh don't spoil the secrets No, you're not, HPX. You're not. But, um, my mom always said that it was for a good cause. And I was like, dude, I just want to watch those series like everyone else. But I wasn't allowed to. And I watched them when I was older. When I was actually- when nobody was watching it anymore, I started watching it because I was like, well, my parents can't really make me not watch it anymore now. I can make my own decisions. <laughs> oh my god, HPX, sh shut up. <laughs> um, but I think it can influence people, those series. Because I think that as a kid, you look different at what's happening in a show than as when you get older. I don't really know how to, how to explain this. But my mom wanted me to have like a feeling for what is good and what is bad. And she saw most of those programs as bad. But... I don't know, I don't blame her for that anymore. Like, it's fine. I, I, un I understand why she decided to not make let me watch it. And I think it was good, but in the end, well, you make your own decisions, right? And I watched it anyway. I freaking loved Avatar The Last Airbender, and after that, when Korra came out, Legend of Korra, I watched all of that. That was like my favorite show. I still like it. <laughs> exactly, well I don't really know much about vampires because they um, piss me off, kind of. <laughs> don't date a vampire, it seems like the best idea. No, but, you know, I know the difference between right or wrong, so I guess I'm okay. <laughs> I just, like, here's the thing, my story looks pretty dark on the outside, but it has there is like a meaning behind it and it's not all darkness it always has that little light at the end of the tunnel and I'm trying to like deliver some kind of message with it but when my mom would read it she would probably hate it I don't even want her to read my book just, just don't. 
it's better for both of us. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I'm sure they do. <laughs> Too many bad things. They'll ban me from the house. I haven't named it yet, no. But I think this castle is like the castle of Neotara, and Neotara is the mainland in my book. Where most of it is happening. I feel like I need to move the castle a little bit. A little bit. Or maybe not. Let's see what happens if I move it. It becomes invisible. It's more centered now. Let's see about that bush. Where's the bush? Bush? Hello? Hello? What layer did I put you on? What the hell? Why do I always lose my layers? <laughs> oh! Oh, it's here! Okay. Okay, saved. <laughs> Sorry for my squeak. is falling off. <laughs> okay. I do HP because I have a rabbit. No, I didn't finish it yet, but I want to finish this one before drawing class so I can show the teacher that I've like worked it out the sketch so I'll if I finish this today I'll continue on Manon tomorrow
I did. Not sure if it's on the VODs, but it's definitely on my YouTube ch channel. This is too dark. I don't think I have my YouTube channel anywhere. <laughs> Let me see. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> Not. Soft. At least this is one of them. It's just a small part, but it's a rabbit walk. <laughs> mm. You found someone else drawing me on YouTube? Who? Super Raider? Yeah, Super Raider. Yeah, he drew me. Or painted me. With a gun. Angel with a shotgun. He also made uh, together, which is great, the the angel up, up the angel over there on the side of the screen. <laughs> then he disappeared, and he never came back. Um, they are not on that channel, Alex. They are on my uh, own channel, well, own channel, like my not stream channel. <laughs> Oh yeah, he doesn't care. He just likes the walking. He is kind of annoyed by that leash sometimes, and he tries, like, biting it, but yeah. He just has to deal with it if he wants to walk. No, it's meant for rabbit rabbits actually. It's a rabbit leash. Oh yeah, my mom really likes uh, to work in the garden. And uh, take care of flowers and all.
Well, yeah, I used to have a leash that made them able to do that. But this leash goes like um, around the neck and around the belly. So his paws are in between and he can't escape from it ever. But I used to have a leash where they could escape from, where they just could slip through. I'm allergic to cats, so I don't think that's a great idea for me. <laughs> um, nine cats? Um, that's, that's a little much. Oh god, oh god. <laughs> Crazy cat ladies. It's a thing. Yeah. You need to still be able to take care of them, I think. If you can't, then too many. There used to be this streamer and like I have treasure in my uh, point system, right? He had cats as point system. So at some point I got like 500 cats. <laughs> Four dog, or oh, four cats, two dogs, and a parrot. That's quite a lot. Nice round. Oh god, five hundred cats. <laughs> don't do that, HPX. Please don't. I knew someone with three dogs, but that's not that much. And someone with one dog, two or three cats. Oh, that was it. I never had a lot of animals because my parents don't really want animals in house. So my rabbit is outside and I had a hamster in my own room. Um, but yeah. You could poison. It's You can stream that on in real life. Oh, you live in Toronto too, HBX. I am allergic for cats though, so I don't think it's a good idea to be among 500 cats. There are also like, I think in Amsterdam they have this cat cafe and you can just go there and pet cats. 
It's only 500. Okay, I'll just take my allergy spray then. <laughs> Do you know all their names still? <laughs> GG guys! One, two, five hundred. Okay, okay, they have a number, I see. But how do you know which one is which number? It sounds pretty cool, like a cat cafe. Perfect! <laughs> oh my god. I've never been there though. But it sounds it sounds cool. I am well I used to be allergic to horses too. And I still am sometimes, especially when they're shedding their fur. But it's not bad. Not anymore. Like sheep? We have sheep here in the meadow. Uh, opposite our house. <laughs> Either die or become immune. Yeah, exactly. Should we give it a shot then? Where do you get 500 cats from, though? Oh my god, I love Laura's dogs. They're so cute. They're so cute! I wanted to take them home, but... And Lara was like, okay, fine, you can take them, and next time I'll come to the Netherlands, I'll take them back home again. <laughs> but they're... Airplane didn't let me. Sadly. You find a horse too? Oh, damn. Now we got a deal. Like, Roxy was my. We were besties, like the first second she saw me, she peed on the floor three times in a row. Um, she loved- it was like love on first sight. She couldn't let me go, she wouldn't leave me. And if I sat down on the couch, she would jump on my lap in like five seconds, lie down there and sleep and be a heater because she's freaking hot. <laughs> Yeah, she peed on the floor with excitement. She did that like for the first three days or yeah, the first three days when I was there and every time I came into the door in every time I came in, she peed on the floor from excitement. <laughs> and then we went to the USA for one night and when we came back, she peed again. <laughs> And after that, she was okay. Lara said she was looking for me. Like, I was sleeping in the streaming room. Lara's streaming room. And Lara said she was. Roxy was looking for me for like a week. 
after I left. So sad. Poor thing. I hated leaving them. They were like, they were looking at me like, so excited, like, you're going, but you're coming back, right? I was like, I'm not coming back, I'm so sorry, guys. And they were like, just looking so happy at me, and I almost cried. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how, how so, so much pee fit in that little animal. No, we didn't go to Niagara Falls. We... We crossed the border somewhere else, I'm not sure where. We went to visit Termi. In Beverly Hills, Michigan. <laughs> Apparently there is a Beverly Hills in Michigan. And then Luna was a totally different ro uh, dog from Roxy. And I, I saw it the second I came in because Roxy was peeing on the floor from excitement. But Luna was like a little more distant, a little more like, who are you? What are you doing in my house? I'm not sure if I like you yet. So I came in, I tried to like pet her, but she backed out like, don't touch me. <laughs> so I let her like sniff my hand first, then she was, oh, okay. Now I know your smell. <laughs> and I could like pet her under her chin, that's usually where I, I start dogs. Like that place more, I think. So, like, on top of their head is only when you're their boss, and under the chin is, like, a little less aggressive or something, I don't know. But, so I started petting her there, and in a minute she was, like, lying on her back, and I was petting her belly, and she loved it. And I remember Lara and Lucas were looking at me, like, what the fuck? She is never like that around people. <laughs> like, not so fast. I was like, well, sorry. <laughs> but yeah, Roxy was the most, most excited that I was there. Yeah, they called me Dog Whisperer right away. I don't know. I just know a few things about animal behavior. It's not that hard. <laughs> I observe them, see what they like and don't like. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't... I don't really have that with cats. Well, I used to have a few cats in my neighborhood, and if I would call their name, they would, they would like, come running to me, but that was because I had taken care of them when their owners were away, and I gave them food. When you give them food, you're their best friend forever. <laughs> They even came, like, begging at my door to bring them food. But, like, the really scared cats, 
they will not come to me. They run. Yeah, I used to have, like, cat friends in my neighborhood. But then the owners sold them without telling me and they were gone, suddenly. I know, right? I was- I was so sad. I- I was like, I haven't seen- I haven't seen them in a few days, it's weird, they are always in our garden. And then they told me they had sold them. I was like, couldn't you freaking tell me before you so sell them? But no, apparently they couldn't. It was pretty funny because one time I came into their house and Semi, that was like the cat that was a little more attached to me than the other one. And I came into the house and he was sleeping on the chair and when he heard my voice, he looked up at me and he was like, Meow! <laughs> and I was just sitting there talking to them for a while and he, he was just sleeping on my lap. He was like... He would always instantly come to me. And the owners would look at me like... Dude, that's our cat, not yours. <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> well, I... I couldn't have bought them. That's the thing. But I really, I really liked them. But... At least they could have told me, right? That they would sell them. My mom is really, really allergic to most animals, so we couldn't have had cats in the house. But yeah, they sold the cats because they had a baby and I think one of the cats was climbing into the baby's bed all the time and they thought it was dangerous. Such epic music, yeah. Okay, HPX, thank you for stopping by. Have a nice Saturday and enjoy your dinner. Bye! Come back to Toronto soon. I'll see. I don't know if I can.
Fedor Castle? Uh, maybe, maybe not. It's uh, Lenora's castle, the Queen of Neotara. Not not the one on Posar, like the dark castle on a dark island. It's not that one. <laughs> Not yours. Queen Lenora of Neotara. Lives there. What time is it? Oh god, I need to stop soon. No, Alex, we're not doing that. Where does this music come from? YouTube. Two hour epic music mix. Most emotional and inspirational music. From Pandora Journey. Pandora Journey, that channel has a lot of epic music uh, playlists.
I used to have a small castle in the garden when I was younger where I would uh, play on. My dad built it himself, like made out of wood, and there was a swing and a glide, and you could climb the castle wall. Lots of good Yeah, it was nice. A tire swing? That's cool too. Oh, it also had like the, the bridge that you can pull up and down. <laughs> You want a castle? Oh. I can have to tire. Oh. Well, hire my dad. Maybe he will build one for you. Twenty four, twenty four, twenty four. Can you draw an actual fork on the road? What do you mean? Lada. <laughs> Welcome. How are you doing? Did I get a 10? Um, I'm not sure, maybe? <laughs> not that I know of. I said in the sun today though, but... Thank you. <laughs> oh, I see. I was talking about your dogs earlier.
What about them? Only good stuff. <laughs> yeah, I told them about Roxy peeing. About her being so excited when she saw me. <laughs> and HPX was considering to get 500 cats. And he wanted to give room for uh, Luna and Roxy too, so I think that's how we got to the subject. <laughs> Roxy is a pee machine. I don't. How can such a little dog? have uh so much pee how i just great 399 um he had, he was talking about 500 not 400 <laughs> he never ends does she drink so much or something talking about drinking Yeah, way too many. He was going to call them 1 till 500. Looks like I'm not going to finish this today. I'm so slow. I think it does. Are you a? I'm doing good. Um, ending in four minutes though. <laughs> I just decided to do a random Saturday stream since I didn't work today or anything. So why not? But I have to sing in church tomorrow, so I can't stay up until too late, and I think my mom is going to bed. <laughs> or is already going.
random cooking streaming coming. going, Laura? Okay. Oh. You happy baby. Again? Nice. So there is like a bunch of people in Toronto that stream and you're gonna meet them or something? Let's see if there's someone we can host and raid. Cool. That's a lot of people. <laughs> Seems fun though. Who is streaming? What the hell is that? Okay. Let's find a new person. Don't scream in my ear. Shut up. Language? What the hell? Okay. Someone that hasn't that many viewers. <laughs> where it is, it might be handy to know where you have to go for the meetup, don't you think? <laughs> um. Too much vodka, let's have fun together. Why the hell is that uncreative? Go to in real life, people. An arcade? Isn't that with all the game things? Oh no, I didn't. She did she? Nice. Good for her. Hey, that's me streaming. Um. Someone cross stitching, someone without a camera. Pre-Easter, multi-stream, crochet madness, glass blowing, 18 plus German stream, drawing avatar for someone, late night streaming. Join me as I try to get better art drawing. Making a video game. <laughs> oh, 
What's this? Mystical forest and crazy cats. Show chat. Show chat, come on. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I wish I had... Let's do it, guys. This looks cool. Let's, let's raid her. Let's raid her. Rising Angels Raid. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, it was a surprise stream, totally random, but I might do more Saturday streams in the future since they don't plan me in on Saturdays anyway. Um, Thank you for the hosts, I really appreciate it, and I see you tomorrow night! I hope, if you can stop by. If not, then see you another time. <laughs> Let's raid this person, guys! Show her some love!